All right, today we're going to go over the quick implementation of basically a web form that will get sent then to a Google Sheet. What we're using today to do this is a web form solution called Cognito Forms. And this is a great solution if you need a form on your website, free forms, basically create them on Cognito, and then you can embed them on your website, whether it's WordPress or any other. We're going to use a service called Zapier so that when the Cognito form gets submitted by your leads, um, Zapier is actually going to take that information and then send it over to Google. So we're very quickly going to go through each of these services just to kind of give you a feeling for how all these things integrate with one another. So the first step we need is a new form that we're going to embed on our website. And we're going to go into Cognito, hit new form, and start from scratch. And the Cognito interface is very intuitive, um, but what we're basically going to do is give our form a name. So I'm just going to write form name. And we're going to add a few fields to our form. So these would be the things that we're going to ask our leads for as far as information goes. So in this example, I'm going to choose just some basic fields for name. We'll try to capture their phone number. And we'll capture their email address. So just capturing a few pieces of information from the lead. Now with Incognito, we're going to save the form. So at this point, we have our form. Within Cognito, you can actually go to the Publish box here, and it'll give you code that you can cut and paste on your website so that this form appears on your website. But it'll also give you a link to the form if you want to do that instead. So what we're going to do is just test our form quickly. So I'm opening a new browser and going to my test form. And there it is. And I'm just going to go ahead and say, Just going to fill out the form and submit it. And it says that that worked. So just to double check, we'll go back to Cognito. We're going to go into Entries. This is where all your entries end up in Cognito. They get emailed to you, but they also store in this database. So I can see now that the form works. So the next thing I need to do is set up the spreadsheet where I want all my leads to go. And what that means is that each time this form gets submitted, this is going to be the sheet where all this information gets sent. So in Google Drive, which is drive.google.com, I'm just going to go to the top left and hit New, and a Google Sheet is what we want to create. So our new Google Sheet, we're going to give it a name. We're going to call it Rick's Leads. And the only thing we really need to set up on this sheet are the headers for each of the form fields we have. So if you remember, we had a field for first name, field for last name, a field for email, and a field for phone. So all we're doing here is setting up a basic sheet with the headers. And the last step, which is really easy, but probably the most uh, sort of intense part about the whole process, is setting up the zap, which is going to send the form information here. So in this example, we are going to use a service called Zapier. And Zapier is free to use, uh, depending on how many zaps you have and everything. And again, it's basically a tool where that'll send information from one data source to another. So we're going to send a quick zap over. So I'm going to click Add a New Zap. And the first thing it's going to ask for is something called a Trigger App. So this is the app that is going to kick off the process. So in our example, it's a Cognito Form submission. So I'm just going to click on Cognito Forms. And it's going to take me step by step through setting this up. So next we have to tell it what to trigger. So each time a new entry comes in, and what that means is each time my lead fills out the entry form, I'm going to have it trigger the process. And then it's going to ask me which Cognito account I want to um, attach to. I'm going to go ahead and connect my Cognito account at this time just by clicking Connect. You'll see a little dialog box box pops up. Um, if you're logged into Cognito, it's very easy. You just click Authorize Organization. And then we're going to say Save and Continue. So now we've connected Zapier to Cognito. And now Cognito is going to ask us, which form do we want to use? And in this example, we're going to use the one called Form Name, because that's what I named my form. And hit Continue. So as you can see, it's an easy step-by-step -step process. Now it's going to test, so it's going to look and see if it connected correctly, and it did. So we're going to continue. Now it's going to ask us for an action app. So we know that the information starts in Cognito, and we want it to end up in Google, and that's our action app. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Google Sheets. 
And then it's going to ask us, what do we want to do with Google Sheets? So in this example, I want to create a spreadsheet row. So each time a new lead comes in, I'd like it to add a new row to the spreadsheet and insert that information. There are some other options here, which we'll go over in other videos. So we're going to hit Save and Continue. It's asking us which account we want to connect to. I've already connected my Google account in this example. Otherwise, you could connect a new account. So I'll just go ahead and go Save and Continue. Now it's going to ask us which spreadsheet it wants to create the row in. So now I'm going to look for the spreadsheet I just created called Rick's Leads. And it's going to ask us which worksheet. So if you had multiple worksheets on that spreadsheet, you could choose one. Um, we just have one, and it's called Cheat One. So now we have to map the fields. And what that means is um, from Cognito, we need to say which Cognito form fields go where on this spreadsheet. So in my first column, which I'd created in that sheet called first, I'm going to take the first name field from Cognito. So by clicking on this right box right here, I can go ahead and look through all the things that it knows is, are in Cognito. So first I'm going to grab my first name. And now last, I want to do my last name. So same thing, I just hit the drop down. Email, I'm going to look for the email field. And lastly, phone number. And there is the phone number field. So now we've got it going to the right spreadsheet, the right worksheet, and we've got all the fields mapped. All right, so in this last step, Zapier is just going to ask us to test it. So we're going to go ahead and create our test. And Zapier is saying, test successful. So. How we can make sure our test is successful is we should be able to go over to our Google Sheet and see that new lead inserted there. So here I am on the new sheet. I'm just going to go ahead and refresh it. And you can see that the lead information is there. So now just for fun, let's go ahead and create another form, lead. This one we'll call test2. And the email is, again, we'll use the same email address. So now what we should expect to happen after we submit this form is we should be able to go over to our Google Sheet and see a row added with that new lead. So we'll give Google Sheets just a minute here. And the one thing we forgot to do is turn our zap on, so we're going to do that real quick. All right, so let's just rewind that a second. We'll go ahead and fill out this form one more time. And now, one last time, we will submit our form, check our lead sheet, and bam, pops right in. So that concludes the tutorial, very basic, just using Zapier to connect a useful form solution to Google Sheets. Hope it helps. Uh, uh, <laughs>